exuberant viewers. Today is indeed a very special morning as we all are here to witness the virtual investiture ceremony of Anikurkul, the prefectural board. It is the day of new beginnings, renewal and resolve. Investiture ceremony is indeed a proud moment for the school where the newly elected student council members are all prepared to take the mantle of leadership and discharge the responsibilities entrusted upon them by the school. This ceremony be a testimony of a school's resolve to nurture and upheld the democratic principles, processes and values. Our school is actually molding the dynamic rulers of tomorrow. In today's unprecedented times, the role even gets more crucial. But I am sure these young leaders will lead by example. Prayer is the song of the heart. It's the surge of the heart. It's a simple look turned towards heaven. It's raising one's heart and mind to God. Let us begin this auspicious occasion by lighting the lamp and invoke the blessings of the God Almighty. I request Srimati Radhamani Ayer, Principal Aragurukul School and all other honorable dignitaries to seek the blessings of the God and light the lamp. Oh. Oh. I request the guard of honor to escort our principal Srimati Radhamani Ayer to the podium. Our school flag represents the glorious culture and traditions of our school. It's a symbol of growth and success. Our flag is the embodiment of our collective emotion to excel and scale great heights. 
let us pay tribute and honor to the school flag by witnessing the prestigious flag hoisting ceremony i request shrimati radhamani ayer principal aregurukul school nandivani to hoist the flag Is a feast to the eyes and the ears 
when coupled with some stirring marching music. Let us witness the visual treat which also reflects the sense of teamwork and discipline. Presented by a majestic houses, Bhairav, Malhar, Malkams and Hindol. An ancient spring raga, the Hindol exemplifies everything new. A new life, a new hope and a new awakening. The effect of the raga is such that the mind acquires a spirit of optimism that culminates into a state of unbridled enthusiasm and vigor. More popularly known as the Winter Raga, the Malkams is also the Raga of felicity and happiness. The melodious effects epitomize a blissful state of mind, steeped in warmth, contentment and ecstasy. The controlled mind thus translates into a balanced individual rejoicing in the pure pleasure of life. The Raga of the Rains, the Malhar, is pure, soothing and divine. The power of the Raga is so intense that it can cool even the most smoldering emotions. The agitated mind thus transforms into a state of calmness, enhancing rational thinking and reasoning. Associated with the autumn season, Rav Bhairav uses all pleasant invitations to exude a purifying experience. Ideally sung at the first light of the sun, the Rav Bhairav encompasses the diverse moods of peace, joy and pathos and offers a source of renewal and reflection of the mind. To be inspired is great, but to be an inspiration is an honor. Our young leaders will embark on the inspirational journey to carry forward the mission and vision of our school. The selection of the candidates for the electoral process was rigorous, which involved the observation by a esteemed panel of teachers, the interview round and a remarkable spree of campaigning. The campaigning carried out by the contestants showed their innate talent of connecting with their fellow students with their innovative slogans and thoughts. Sheer enthusiasm and determination was reflected amongst all the candidates. Our promising young leaders are multifaceted personalities with many excelling in their curricular and co-curricular activities. Our school is a place where life lessons are imbibed at a very early age. These candidates have participated in various competitions and programs which have molded them and added new dimensions to their life. So here comes the moment which we are waiting with a weighted breath. So let us see the official declaration of the newly elected student council for the year 2021-22. We will now request the esteemed dignitaries to declare the victorious student council members. The leader has to uphold the values of integrity, loyalty and trust. The leader always makes a resolve to serve with the selfless dedication. A newly elected junior head girl will definitely imbibe and nurture these values during the course of her tenure. I request this esteemed dignitary to announce the newly elected junior head girl. Hariyo, Namaste and greetings of the day to one and all. I am here to announce the school council junior head girl primary section for the academic year 2021 and 22 and it is Sharanya Anup Nayan. Congratulations to Sharanya and God bless you and wish you all the best for all your future endeavors. A leader is not known for its title or position. It is all about 
example and action. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Request the parents to do the honors. Congratulations to you! The leader has to create a successful path and guide and motivate others to walk the path successfully too. I, I am sure that newly elected the junior head boy will walk the path with a domination and fortitude. I request the esteemed dignitary to announce the newly elected junior head boy. I am here to announce the school council junior head boy primary section for the academic year 2021 and 22 and it is none other than Jay Umesh Warrior. Congratulations Jay and God bless you for all your future endeavors. Wish you all the best. A small motivational quote for you and here it goes by John Maxwell. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way and shows the way. Thank you. Request the parents to do the honors. Congratulations to you! Now it is the time to announce the junior captains of the four vibrant houses of the school. Hindol, Markhams, Malhar and Bairav. The captain will play an indispensable role in maintaining the decorum and discipline of the school. I request the esteemed dignitary to announce the name of the junior Hindol house captain. The Student Council Hindol House Junior Captain Primary Section for the academic year 21-22 is Suryansh Ravi Tiwari. Congratulations to Suryansh and wishing him luck and success for the year ahead. Thank you. I request the parents to do the honor. Congratulations! I request the esteemed dignitary to announce the 
name of the junior malcolm's house captain it is my great pleasure to announce that the student council malcolm house junior captain primary section for the academic year 21-22 is devansh ravi tiwari congratulations devansh and wishing you loads of luck and success for the academic year 21-22 I request the parents to do the honors. Congratulations! I request the esteemed dignitary to announce the name of Junior Mallar House Captain. Namaste. The Student Council, Mallar House, Junior Captain, Primary Section for the academic year 2021-22 is. Any guesses? Yes. Trisana Dinesh Puliyat Parambu. Congratulations and all the best. I request the parents to do the honor. Congratulations to you. I request the esteemed dignitary to announce the name of Junior Bhairav House Captain. The Student Council Bhairav House Junior Captain Primary Section for the academic year 2021-22 is Piyush Advani. Congratulations and all the best. I request the parents to do the honor. Congratulations to you. I request the former head boy of 2019-20 to share his experience. Good morning to everyone present here. So, one fine day, I was told to share my experience as being a head boy. So, here I am. Uh, my experience being a head boy was great. But, I must say, it was insightful. I learned a lot of things. I learned to manage. The school and principal ma'am have provided me with this opportunity. It has been an immense pleasure serving as a head boy. I learned that badges are not, uh, doesn't mean authority, but they mean that equivalent responsibility which we have to fulfill. I learned to work in a team. I learned how to lead. And sometimes I, others would look upon to me for making some decisions. I learned to make decisions. And this list never ends. I would have loved to serve as a head boy for another year. But I think that others should also get a chance of uh, getting this amazing experience. I would wish best of luck to the new head boy and head girl from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Have a nice day. I request the newly elected head girl of the primary section to share her views about her role as a new head girl. Hello, my namaste to our 
respected principal ma'am, teachers, parents and my fellow mates. This is Sharanya Anupnaya from grade 15. Selected as a junior head one of Arya Gurukul Nandevri for the year 2021 and 22. I would like to congratulate the other school council members of this year. This is my first experience in participating for the school elections. I have gone through the selection process from last month. It was great feeling throughout the election process. During this period, I enjoyed and learned many, many things. Although it was my first experience as a candidate in school council, I was very confident for my interview and other process. There were three rounds for the election. The first round was the selection process as a candidate. The second round was an online interview for the appropriate post. And third round was an appeal for the vote. I also asserted my right on virtual voting day. Now as a junior head girl, I feel responsible, which has increased my duties towards our school and my fellow mates. I plan to make all students responsible towards the school work and respect the school and school teachers. I have also tried to keep discipline in our regular online lectures. I will participate in regular assemblies and other school activities. I will also encourage and help my schoolmates to participate online school activities and various competitions. At the last, I would like to thank our principal ma'am Head of Primary Department, Student Council Election and the HP Department for believing in me. Thank you one and all. Have wonderful holidays. Stay fit. Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you for your inspiring words. I request the newly elected head boy of the primary section to share his views about his role as the new head boy. Hariu, Animaste, and Jai Warrior has been elected for the post of junior head boy of our school. I may fall short of words to express my emotions and my gratitude for the opportunity I have received. I extend my sincere thanks to my principal and my teachers who inculcated such capabilities in me that I felt confident to be able to discharge my all the duties and responsibilities as the junior head boy of a prestigious school. Also, I thank all the students who trusted me by casting their valuable votes. The election campaign was full of excitement and positive energy which went on with you. I promise to work hard with all the zeal, devotion and determination. I try my best and work persistently for the excellence of our school. Let's take our school to the greater heights of success with your valuable support and God's blessing. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful words. I once again congratulate and wish luck to newly elected members of Primary Student Council 2021-22. Now we move on to meet the Student Council of the secondary section. So let the euphoria set in and be ready to welcome them with great fervor and warmth. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. The head girl has an equally vital role to play, that is, to create an environment enriched with the ethos of the school. So who would be the new head girl? Any guesses? I now request the Honourable Dignitary to announce the new head girl of our school. The student council, head girl, secondary section for the academic year 21-22 is Ms. Pallavi Gautam Das. Congratulations Pallavi, all the best for the future. I request the parents to do the honours, enjoy the jubilation.
congratulations to you. We wish you to become an example for others to follow. Two leaders don't create followers, they create more leaders. The head boy of the school has a crucial role to play as he has to navigate the ship with a great valor. I now request the honorable dignitaries to announce the head boy of the school. The student council head boy secondary section for the academic year 21-22 is Master Rachit Vaibhav Bhanavat. Congratulations Rachit. All the best for the future. I request the parents to do the honors. What a proud moment. Congratulations to you. Bask in the glory of your achievement. Next in line, we have the announcement for the four senior captains and vice captains for the four spectacular houses. I now request the Honorable Dignitary to announce the newly elected Indian House senior captain. The Students' Council, Hindol House, Senior Captain, Secondary Section for this academic year. 2021-22 is Ram Sujit Upadhyay. Congratulations. I request the parents to do the honors. Enjoy the jubilation. Congratulations to you. I now request the honorable dignitary to announce the newly elected Malkowns House Senior Captain. The Student Council Malkowns House Senior Captain Secondary section for the academic year 2021-22 is Pranav Praveen Gore. Congratulations. I request the parents to do the honors. Enjoy your triumphant victory. Congratulations to you. The Students' Council, Malhar House, Senior Captain, Secondary Section for the academic year 21-22 is Advika Singh. Congratulations. I request the parents to do the honours. Enjoy this victorious moment. Congratulations to you. The Student Council, Bhairav House, Senior Captain, Secondary Section for the academic year 2021-22 is Vedant Vivek Kariri. Congratulations. I request the parents to do the honors. Indeed, a moment of glory. Congratulations to you.
I would like to request our honourable dignitary to announce the newly elected Hindol House Senior Vice Captain. Namaste students. The Student Council Hindol House Senior Vice Captain for secondary section for the year 2021-22 is Sia Shekhar Belsare. Congratulations Sia. I would like to request the parents to do the honours. Enjoy the jubilation. Congratulations to you. Secondary section for the year 2021-22 is Dhanaprada Rajaram Desai. Congratulations, Dhanaprada. I would like to request the parents to do the honors. Enjoy the jubilation. Congratulations to you. Malhar House Senior Vice Captain for secondary section for the academic year 2021-22 is Aradhya Ravindra Pandeji. Congratulations, Aradhya. I would like to request the parents to do the honors. What a great moment. Congratulations to you. Vice Captain for Secondary Section for the Academic Year 2021-22 is Mansi Manoj Singh. Congratulations, Mansi. I would like to request the parents to do the honors. Enjoy the jubilation. Congratulations to you. for some special post in the student council. The role of these office bearers will be pivotal in maintaining the balance of the student council and will definitely add some magic with their presence. I now request the honorable dignitary to announce the chief editor of the student council. The student council chief editor girl, secondary section for the academic year 2021-22 is Adhya Jendra Dhotri. Congratulations. 
I request the parents to do the honors. A moment of celebration. The Student Council Chief Editor Boy Secondary Section for the Academic Year 21-22 is Prakhar Upadhar. Congratulations! I request the parents to do the honors. A moment of celebration. has a proud privilege of being adorned with the school sash and badge. It's a moment of both pride and humility and instilling of authority as well as accountability and above all service. Now I request the Honorable Dignitary to announce the new Cultural Editor of the Student Council. The Student Council, Cultural Editor, Girl, Secondary Section for the Academic Year 21-22 is Vrinda Jairajan Nambiar. Congratulations. I request the parents to do the honors. A moment of celebration. The Student Council, Cultural Editor, Boy, Secondary Section for the Academic Year 21-22 is Yash Santosh Awar. Congratulations. I request the parents to do the honors. A moment of celebration. aims to bestow upon its students the ability to be the future leaders of the nation, to discharge their duties with sincerity and fulfill everyone's expectation. Now I request the Honorable Dignitary to announce the new sports editor of the Student Council. The Student Council Sports Editor Secondary Section for the Academic Year 21-22 is Neetu J. Nair. Congratulations. I request the parents to do the honors. A moment of celebration. Now I request the Honorable Dignitary to announce the new Environmental Editor of the Student Council. The Student Council Environmental Editor, 
secondary section for the academic year 21-22 is Rubma Biju. Congratulations. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. The investigator ceremony is yet again a special occasion. The student council by tradition relinquishes its responsibility to the newly elected student council in grace and by example. Win as if you were used to it. Lose as if you enjoyed it for a change. We now have the new office bearers in the sports fraternity who will again bring accolades to the school. So we now have the illustration of senior sports captain and senior sports vice captain from the four vibrant houses. I now request the Honourable Dignitary to announce the Senior Hindu House Sports Captain and Senior Hindu House Sports Vice Captain. The Student Council Hindu House Senior Sports Captain for Academic Year 2021-22 is Zoya Zafar Sheikh. Congratulations Zoya and the very best of luck to you. The Student Council, Hindol House, Senior Sports Vice Captain, Secondary Section for the academic year 2021-22 is Krish Ashok Hassani. Congratulations Krish and all the best wishes. Congratulations. I now request the Honourable Dignitary to announce the Senior Malkounts House Sports Captain and Senior Malkounts House Sports Vice Captain. The Student Council Malcolm Hall, Senior Sports Captain for Academic Year 2021-22 is Yuvraj Katiyar. Congratulations Yuvraj, all the best. The Student Council Malkans House Senior Sports Vice Captain Secondary Section for the Academic Year 2021-22 is Vedant Gajanan Pawar. Congratulations Vedant. All the best. Congratulations. I now request the Honourable Dignitary to announce the Senior Malhar House Sports Captain and Senior Malhar House Sports Vice Captain. The Student Council Malhar House Senior Sports Captain for Academic Year 2021-22 is Tanushri Abhijit Khadilkar. Congratulations Tanushri and a very very best. I request the parents to the honours. A true moment of celebrations. The Student Council Malhar House Senior Sports Vice Captain Secondary Section for the Academic Year 2021-22 is Shrishti Jagdish Gupta. Congratulations Shrishti and all the best. Congratulations. Now I request the Honorable Dignitary to announce the Senior Vera House Sports Captain. 
and Senior Pair of House Sports Vice Captain. The Student Council Pair of House Senior Sports Captain for academic year 2021-22 is Summer Prashant Sundarte. Congratulations Summer and all the best to you. I request the parents to do the honors. Truly a proud moment of celebrations. The Student Council, Bhaira House, Senior Sports Vice Captain, Secondary Section for the Academic Year 2021-22 is Advait Khilari. Congratulations Advait, all the best wishes. I request the parents to do the honours. Truly a proud moment of celebrations. Congratulations to your newly elected student council. Accept the challenges so that you can feel exhilaration of victory. Every year, the mantle of leadership passes from the old student council members to the newly elected student council members, paving the way for change and denoting the start to a new beginning. It is like taking the wisdom of the old and forging new ways to success. Every new beginning starts from some or the other beginning's end. The school flag is handed over to the new head boy and head girl by the old head boy and head girl. The former captains hand over their magnificent flags to the new captains of the four houses respectively. Due to these unprecedented times we are living in, the prestigious flag handing over ceremony will be symbolic. Our respected PE teachers will represent the four houses and perform this symbolic ceremony. Let us witness this ceremony and uplift the spirits of the newly elected members. attention for the prestigious oath of office ceremony that is the administration of the oath taking ceremony 
Oath is a sublime resolve to oneself to follow and uphold the values and the faith entrusted with utmost dedication. The office bearers will pledge to keep the welfare of students as their uttermost priority. Also to work for the betterment of school to hold the school motto of loyalty of honor in high esteem. We congratulate all the members of Students Council for the year 2021-22. I'm sure that they will shine along the way with their exemplary performance and serve as a role model for all of us. Hi, Rachel Thanavar. Hi, Pallavi Das. Hi, Jaya Polish Warrior. Sharanya Amutnaya. Surya Anshtiwari. Devansh Ravi Tiwari. Hi, Krishna Dilek Varanya Paramel. Hi, Piyush Manish Advani. Hi, Pranav Praveen Gore. Hi, Adhika Singh. Hi, Vedan Kaneri. Hi, Fiya Shekhar Belsari. Hi, Benabrina Desai. Hi, Aradhya Paniji. Hi, Mansi Manot Singh. Adhya Dhotri. Hi, Prasnan Bhatya. I need to Jay Kumar Nair. I Brinda Nambiar. Yes, Santosh Award. I Zoya Zappa Sheik. I Yuvraj Gaurav Patyal. I Tanushri Abhijit Khadinkar. I Samad Thantate. I Shristi Jagdish Gupta. I Adwayat Kullari. To solemnly affirm that I will diligently execute the duties of the office of Senior Head Boy. Senior Head Girl. Junior Head Boy. Junior Head Girl. Junior House Captain. Indoor House, House Captain, House. Junior Malkan House. Junior Malkan House Captain. Junior Captain of Bera House. Senior Malkan House Captain. Senior Malkan House Captain. Senior Bera House Captain. Senior Tindal House Vice Captain. Senior Vice Captain Malkan House. Senior Vice Captain. Senior Vice Captain Bera House. Chief Editor Girl. Chief Editor Boy. Sports Editor. Cultural Editor. Cultural Editor. Senior Hindu House Sports Captain. Senior Malkan House Sports Captain. Senior Malhar House Sports Captain. Senior Malhar House Sports Captain. Senior Malhar House Sports Vice Captain. Senior Malhar House Sports Vice Captain. And will, to the best of my abilities, uphold, promote, and support the ideas, activities, and the constitution of RMMO Student Council. I will serve as a positive role model, leader, and voice for the student population. And will preserve, protect, and defend our neighborhood. I will live up to the trust placed in me by the school, staff, and students. With these thoughts in mind, I shall set as my final goal the betterment of our neighborhood. Some people leave footprints on the sands of time for others to follow. A former head coach has always led from the front and inspired others. On this note, I would like to call a former head coach for sharing her thoughts. Good morning and namaste to my respected teachers and dear fellow mates. Firstly, I would like to congratulate the newly elected student council of Arya Gurkul. Congratulations. Believe me, it's a great achievement and opportunity. Being the head girl of Arya Gurkul did not just boost my confidence, but also allowed me to handle various aspects at one time. Be it Khel Mela, Manthan or our regular dispersals, it was always a feeling of pride. Knowing the fact that due to the current pandemic situation, we are not able to go outside and we are not allowed to go to school, you will miss the experience of running here and there, being a part of student council. But every opportunity missed is gained. Handling anything virtually, managing anything virtually or helping your teachers would require a bit more effort and I know you are ready for that. And at the end, stay healthy, wear a mask. Thank you for your wonderful thoughts. We wish you luck for your future endeavors. Great leaders and his personal courage capture the hearts and minds of others and empower new leaders to make the world a better place. Great leaders set out to make a difference and to empower others. On this note, I request our newly elected head girl to empower us with her thoughts. Hariyom and Namaste, heartfelt greetings to all. I feel short of words to direct my feelings, my thankfulness for the opportunity given. I, Pallavi Das, from Gen C, have been elected as Senior Head Girl of Aragirikul for the year 21-22. 
First of all, I would like to thank the entire school administration who has who have shown enormous reliance on me by selecting me as the senior head girl of a prestigious school. We all know that the world is going through hard hitting times and most of you must have missed the school elections which was to be stirred last year. This year we had first ever virtual school elections conducted and a whole new experience was provided to all of us today i am nostalgic and immensely proud as i visualize my journey of the past 12 magical years which commenced with little aryans and now a proud student of aragirkul i see myself empowered with distinct qualities yes i must say my school had been the reason for my growth and development today i vow that i shall do all that i can do to make this academic year a memorable one as the past ones i promise that i will do all that uh, all that everything that lies in my hand to get the things right i will stand firm with my cabinet as a blessed grade with our own noteworthy talents and using out the proper functioning of school by performing our duties i vow to be one of the best internal and external ambassadors of our school as just as our senior student council and act as role models for all my little schoolmates all my student council members from now headlong the responsibilities of our school some way or the other belongs to us so we shall stand as a unit against all the obstacles in these approaching days i stand here to work in collaboration with each and every aryan out there trying your level best is more important than winning because when you consistently try with best in yourself winning will surely reach you and that is what my goal would be we will travel this road together and work in unison to be a united jewel of our agricul shining bright so let's all be moving ahead and remember if our hearts can desire it mind can believe it and we are sure we can achieve it so thank you and have a nice day thank you for your enlightening words before you are a leader Success is all about growing yourself. When you become a leader, success is all about growing others. You have to be unique and different and shine in your own way. On this note, I request our new elected head boy to enlighten us with his thoughts. Good namaste to all the students, teachers and special dignitaries present here today for the prestigious investiture ceremony. A leader is not someone who uses the power to rule over the people. A leader is someone who uses the power to unite the people. Becoming the senior head boy of our school is a great responsibility as well as a great honor for me. Being an Aryan, I have seen and learned many qualities of leadership from previous great leaders of our school, and I am glad to say that one of those leaders was my brother Manthan Maram. I am grateful to all my fellow schoolmates who trusted in me, who supported me, who believed in me. and i am sure that i will live up to their expectations the student council credo of our agricul states that the safety welfare and honor of the school comes first always and every time then comes the safety comfort and ease of all the students at last comes my own safety comfort and ease i will live up to the student council credo of our agricul words don't cause a change work does i believe in work not in words I want me and my council to be remembered for our work, not for our words. These are tough times right now. The world is facing a mega crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic, and world has witnessed: united we stand, divided we fall. I want to unite all my council members and work together as one great workforce against the COVID-19 pandemic. After all, the true test of leadership always takes place in the times of crisis. I would like. to end with a quote the true challenge of leadership is to be strong but not rude to be kind but not weak to be humble but not timid thank you and have a nice day ahead
Thank you for your inspiring thoughts. The mark of a genius is perfection and originality, which leads to the opening up of new frontiers. Our principal ma'am has always strived to open new avenues for all of us to explore and excel. On the virtual reality platform, she has proved herself as the mentor of the new age. Under her guidance, our school has become a model and a visionary school with skyrocketing achievements and accolades. I request our illustrious principal, Srimati Radhamani Ayer, to address the viewers with her thought-provoking words. Hariyo me namaste. So in this teacher ceremony, 21-22, conducted virtually. It was a great experience when the students went through all the process of election. The interviews, voting and the teachers uh, evaluation, everything was conducted very well and students participated enthusiastically and the council members, student council member of Hari Gurukul has been announced. But here I would like to address all those who contested but could not reach to the students as student council members. Don't get disheartened. Yes, I am going to talk to you today. During my this process, I will be addressing you too. But I take this opportunity to congratulate all those who could become the student council members. Congratulations students. So there are 30 different posts. I once again congratulate for that. Now, when you become a student council member, the first and the foremost thing is that you have become the leader. You have reached to the top and you are the leaders. That does not mean others, those who have contested, contested but could not make it, they are not leaders. They too are leaders. So today's session is for all. I would like to tell you the first and the foremost everybody should remember is humility. Never ever be proud of that. The position you got or never ever feel low about that I could not reach. The next one which I would like to say is as a leaders, all the leaders should be a listeners. Yes. You should be a listener. And even all the leaders who could make it or you are yet, they are going to make it next year, all should be an observer. The first quality of any leader is listening and observing. Everybody should observe others, listen to others. And gradually, one day, you become in the real contest a leader. I would like to narrate an incident which took place with me when I was in grade 10 or in 9th and 10th. I was not a leader when I was in school at all. But I had a unique quality at that time and even today I have that unique quality. Listen to all and observe all. When my class, in my class, there was very smart students who know so how they used to be very outspoken, they used to express their thing, they used to be very, very uh, like um, uh, up to date with their information and I used to just look at them and still today I remember the way they spoke, the way their behavior was because I have taken their image in my mind. So what I have done is I observed the leaders of that time. 
I have also observed recently in last one week when I was on a walk, I just reached out to a vegetable vendor. There were many vegetable vendors sitting because early morning when the walkers are out there because of the time restrictions, many vegetable vendors were sitting. There was one lady who was um, selling vegetables, uh, many other vegetables she was selling and there is one lady who was asking, was bargaining for the amount. But this lady, I saw I was in the other vendor, was the other vendor and uh, this lady came up with a solution for that since she was bargaining. She came up with the solution that I will give you all the tomatoes to you but you take it in this rate. I was, I was a keen observer, I observed what the lady tried to do is to create a win-win situation for both of them. Because it's being a lockdown time and the time restrictions, the time will get over soon. This lady, the vendor has to go, decided that I have to sell all the tomatoes at the same time I need a profit. So the other lady with the regular, suppose if it is 60 kilos or 60 rupees tomato, she has sold it in 50. But she, what happened here is of 1 kilo, she purchased 2 kgs. And this is the observation I do, whether it is a vegetable vendor, whether it is uh, my friends, other colleagues, all other role models as leaders. So the first and the foremost is listening and observing. And you should have enough humility. Don't be proud of anything. Because, why you should not proud of anything? Because nothing is permanent in this world. Next, so leadership means service. You should do that service to the society, to the people who have voted for you. You have to help. The help should reach out to them. Then the biggest thing is empathy. If, if your friend is struggling with online or something not able to understand, you can't be teasing that uh, your friend. You have to help out. Come to the level of the friend and tell what is your problem. I will help you out and find out the problem. Give a solution. You need to have that empathy as a leader. The next is taking everybody together. Very, very important as a leader. Very, very important as a leader. So I'll repeat, a leader should have a good listening quality. Leader should be an observer. Leader should not should be having lots of humility, not to feel proud about anything. Leader should have a service-minded attitude. The leader should have lots of empathy. And the other thing is, other one is, you should have that ownership. What is the ownership here? You are representing a school. So whatever you speak, the language you use, the behavior you show, should be a role model for others. You are, if you are representing a school, your language to be at the best and making even um, helping others to use the same language. Yes. So, the leadership has many more things you people have to learn. As you grow in your life, you will learn many new things. But, Today what I am seeing is the basic thing and even that is relevant even if you grow tomorrow and become an entrepreneur or a director of a company or whatever at whatever level you are. A leader should have this basic quality. Even if you are organizing an event, you should have this quality. The last quality, one more thing, which today I am going to address is respect. You need to respect all. Here 
respect does not mean even if the other person is wrong, then you have to because of respect you have to agree to that person. No, you should know how to present yourself. That's the reason we are bringing the design thinking. There is a design uh, thinking like you know this the new concept which has come where you should know how to present it. That's very important. So the respect, respecting others' view, there can be always there is a difference of opinion from individual to individual. So the best thing is to respect everybody's uh, views. You will never have any problem. You will get all the cooperation from everybody. Yes, dear children, congratulations to all the students once again. Those who have become the student council member and also those who contested elections. I'm really happy for you that you are going to be a leader in the coming years. Thank you so much. Hari Om and Namaste. Thank you ma'am. Your words are indeed very inspiring. Sports is one of the most important pillars of the education system today. Sports builds passion dedication and perseverance. It is the integral part of the child's all-around development. Our school has brought many laurels and has enormous treasure trove of talent when it comes to sports. For this to happen, the leader has to be equally industrious and dedicated. Leaders aren't born. They are made and they are made just like anything else through hard work. Our sports director Sri Deepak Verma is the epitome of diligence and perseverance and believes that there is no substitute for hard work. I invite Sri Deepak Verma to address our viewers with his valuable thoughts. Hariyo my Namaste. My heartiest congratulations to all the boys and girls who have been elected to the Students' Council. Being elected to the Students' Council means you have agreed and accepted to govern and ensure the smooth functioning of the school, both online and offline. And I am sure you are eagerly waiting to do exactly that. As a Student Council leader, you must follow the Students' Council credo and let me repeat that credo for you. The safety, honor and welfare of the school comes first, always and every time. The safety, honor and comfort of your fellow students comes next. Your own safety, comfort and ease comes last, always and every time. As a student council leader, you must always remember your credo. And remember, keeping others before yourself is a mark of a true leader. I am sure this experience as a student's council will prepare you to take many challenges as a leader in future. And I wish you all the best. Thank you and hurry. Great leaders don't set out to be a leader. They set out to create a difference. It's never about the role. It's always about the goal. One of the most determined, zealous and formidable leaders of our Gurukul School Nandivli, Srimati Divya Borse, is embarking on a new journey as the principal of St. Mary's High School, Kalyan. It is a bittersweet moment for us. As the headmistress of our Gurukul, she was a mentor par excellence, a guide who stood like a rock behind every teacher and faced each and every challenge with her effervescent smile and unwavering commitment. Her student-friendly approach and her belief that every child should be catered to in a unique way made her popular in the student community. During her tenure from 2015 to 2021, she brought out many plaudits to the school. Her remarkable role 
in team building, shaping a vision of education success, and creating an environment of peaceful coexistence is worth mentioning. She is a strong proponent of experiential learning, believes in inventive ideas, and has encouraged and empowered others to grow. Saying a goodbye to such a dynamic leader is heart-wrenching, but we are equally happy that she would be the part of the Ari Global family. Thank you, ma'am, for your selfless work and your contribution in making our school one of the leading institutions in the field of education. We assure you that the vast body of work that you are leaving behind will be nurtured and taken forward with optimistic spirit. We wish you good luck from the bottom of our hearts as you venture into greener pastures as the principal of St. Mary's High School. Congratulations, ma'am. May you always achieve success and glory. Every ending opens the door for the new vistas. The transition can be hard, just like the blooming of a new plant adds to the aura of the plant. In a similar way, addition of a new member to the family makes its root even more stronger. I am honored to be given the opportunity to welcome a distinguished member to the Aravilkul family. I, on behalf of my school, extend a warm welcome to our new headmistress, Srimati Piyali Kulkarni. Srimati Piyali Kulkarni is an astounding leader and her contribution to the field of education speaks volumes about her noteworthy career. She is a postgraduate in science and is a gold medalist in Master of Education. She is indeed a prolific personality with more than 17 years of teaching experience in the academics and life science domain. She was the head of the Department of Science and has also worked in the capacity of a secondary academic coordinator. She has extensive experience in teaching a diverse group of students such as PG, degree, higher secondary, secondary and primary. She has been a mentor and a guide to students pursuing their post-graduation. She has also played a crucial role in the teacher's enrichment and training with her valuable observations and feedback. With the strong interpersonal skills, she has the innate ability to strike a chord with the children with varied attitudes and skills. Her forte is to create effective teaching, learning methods, and engage the students to become the quick learners. She believes in the mantra that motivation is a tool that can harness the potential of the child and bring out his unique personality. Piali Madam is an articulate communicator with outstanding analytical abilities problem solving, decision making, and interpersonal skills. Her areas of interest are research, biotechnology, life sciences, teacher training, and curriculum development. Leadership is about more than a title. A good leader can inspire the team and the world at large through his words and more importantly, his actions. I am sure as a leader, you will show us the way. We are indeed privileged to have such a versatile personality as the headmistress of our school. I am sure with your association with our school, we will add many more feathers in our cap together. I once again heartily welcome you to our Gurkul School, Nandavi. Congratulations, ma'am. Showing gratitude is one of the simplest yet most powerful things humans can do for each other. Nothing is more honorable than a grateful heart. So now it is time to express our gratitude and deepest appreciation for all those who have made this program a grand success. Once a great man whispered, feeling thankfulness and not expressing is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Today, I take the opportunity to put all my gratitude into words. I, Partha Nair with Ved Ondekar on behalf of Ara Gurukul feels 
privilege to express my gratitude on this special day for everyone involved in making this virtual investor ceremony 2021-22 a grand success. It is the biggest day in the history of Arya Gurukul School today that we have hosted the virtual investor ceremony and executed our rights of democracy. I am eternally grateful to the Almighty who has protected all of us in these times of pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemics has disrupted every individual's life, but it's the futuristic vision of our school management that kept us sailing safely in the teaching learning process by imparting e-learning on Microsoft Teams and conducting one of the prestigious ceremony virtually. I, on behalf of our Gurukul, would take this opportunity to congratulate all the newly elected students council members and wish them all the best for their future endeavors. Thank you and have a nice day. Here I would like to quote a very famous quote of leadership. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. Leadership is lifting the person's vision to high sights. The raising of a person's performance to a higher standard. The building of a personality beyond its normal limitations. I hope the newly elected student council member will uphold these challenges and discharge their duties well enough. On this occasion, I feel privileged to express my deep sense of appreciation for Srimati Neelam Malik, Director, Education Today Foundation, Sri Deepak Sir, Director, Sports Aare Global, Srimati Radhamani Ayer, Principal Aare Gurkul, Srimati Piyali Kulkarni, Headmistress of Aare Gurkul, Nandivali, Sri Nilesh Rathor, Principal Arya Gurkul Ambarnath, Srimati Balvinder Kunar, Headmistress of Arya Gurkul Ambarnath, Srimati Geeta Nair, Co Scholastic Head Arya Gurkul Nandivali, Srimati Anet Sikwiera, Primary Coordinator Arya Gurkul Nandivali, for gracing their important work and sharing with us their valuable time. I would like to thank all the PE facilitators for extending a helping hand throughout the event. I would like to thank all the facilitators for being unbiased and giving the correct decisions. I would like to thank all my friends for their valuable votes for the newly elected members. I would like to thank all the PTA members and dear parents for their valuable time spent with us and taking our e-learning ahead so wonderfully. I would like to extend our gratitude to Pranoti ma'am, Poonam Lasarya ma'am, all the teachers and well-wishers for their silent support and unspoken words of encouragement. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the IT team, admin team for their untiring efforts. Once again, thank you to all mentioned and non-mentioned. Thank you.